Hi guys, it's me Annie and I'm back with another video. Welcome to Annie's Creations. Today I'm in my kitchen and I'm going to be baking some Anzac cookies. Now I know by the time this video comes out, Anzac would have passed. So I thought, well, I'm gonna post it anyway because these cookies came out so crispy and so delicious. So stay tuned and let's bake together. So I got this recipe from my specials mailer that I get emailed to me weekly from my local grocery store. And every time they send me the specials mailer, there's always a little interesting recipe at the end. So because tomorrow is Anzac Day, we got mailed the classic Anzac biscuit recipe. And I decided I'm going to bake it this time and just have some fun. My son was supposed to bake with me today. I was planning on doing this as a little holiday activity together, but he decided he would rather go play with his friends. That's okay because the school holiday is ending and he should have as much playtime as he can get before school starts again next week. So I'm going to be baking these Anzac biscuits. So let's get baking and we'll see how this turns out. I've never made this before, uh, this specific recipe. I've made lots of other Anzac biscuit recipes but this one seemed so easy so why not let's get baking so step one is to preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius and line a cookie sheet with some baking paper i've preheated my oven and i've lined my baking sheet So in a big mixing bowl, I'm combining one cup of plain flour, one cup of desiccated coconut, one cup of rolled oats and two thirds of a cup of raw sugar now I just need to combine it sure it's nicely combined just mix it through melt 125 grams of butter And a quarter cup of golden syrup. So over low heat you just melt these two ingredients together and mix it to combine then take it off the heat. Now I've got all the golden syrup and the butter in this little pan and I'm just heating it over a low heat and it's until it's all melted together now 
now that it's melted together, I just turn off the heat and we'll move on to the next step. Half a teaspoon of carbonate of soda. One tablespoon of boiling water from your kettle. Combine this and add it to your syrup mixture. And mix that through. Now you just mix it until it's nicely combined and once it's combined we're going to add this to our dry mixture. Now this is nicely combined we're just going to add this to our dry mixture. and mix it through. Now that it's nicely combined, we're ready to scoop out our cookie dough onto our baking sheet. I'm using my tablespoon measure to scoop out a tablespoon at a time and then I just roll it or press it into a bowl and place it on the cookie sheet. Then I'll flatten it a little bit and give it that nice round shape. So a tablespoonful makes one cookie and then we just press it together place it on the cookie sheet give enough space in between the cookies so they have space to spread out when they're baking and press them flat a little bit you don't have to flatten them a lot So our first tray of cookies are made, I'm ready to bake them in the oven. I'm going to bake these in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes until they are golden brown and then I'll take them out and let them cool for 5 minutes before transferring them to a cooling rack. This is after 12 minutes of baking. It is quite brown and it looks done. So I'm not going to continue baking until the 20 minutes is up. So if your oven runs a little bit hot, 12 minutes is a good time to just check up on your cookies. Make sure they don't burn. I'll let these cookies cool for about five minutes and then I will transfer them to a cooling rack. So 12 minutes at 180 degrees seem to be the perfect time. They are golden brown and crispy and they smell delicious. So give this recipe a try, it's really easy and then you can enjoy some Anzac cookies on Anzac Day. So using the tablespoon measure, the cookies are basically the same size and I got 35 cookies from this recipe, just for your information. 
Thank you for watching my video today and if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. So this is all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.